Right now, we are working breaking news out of Cranston, where Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is at the scene of a fire on Phoenix Avenue, an industrial plant. We first told you about at the top of the newscast. Caroline has more information on just what happened here. Caroline? Things have really quieted down here tonight here on Phoenix Avenue in Cranston. The last fire truck pulled out just after we joined you at 10 o'clock on Fox Providence, and now an investigation is underway. Smoke and flames pouring from a wash tower in Cranston. An eyewitness news viewer captured this cell phone video on Phoenix Avenue as crews pulled up to the scene at paving contractor PJ Keating. Oh, yeah, it was going pretty good. Cranston Assistant Fire Chief Bernard Patnode says they got a call around 8 o'clock Thursday night from someone walking past the site. He says when crews got on scene, they were met by intense flames coming from a wash tower. They were also met by one big challenge. The problem is from here, there's, it's about 4,500 feet of hose to get water to the fire. And then we had a, a very high voltage that we had to make sure that we secured before anybody got hurt. Assistant Chief Pat Node says two workers were on site when the fire broke out, but neither were hurt. He tells us 35 firefighters from Cranston responded to the scene. They used tower ladders to fight the flames because the fire was about four stories up. We weren't sure how much the metal structure was compromised by the fires. Once they got access to a water supply, they had the fire out within 30 minutes. Pat Node says there is a quarry at the back of the site, but tells us luckily the fire broke out in an area where the loose materials didn't compromise their work. And Assistant Chief Pat Node says this will be a very expensive fire for this company because of the extensive damage to that wash tower. Reporting in Cranston, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.